What's up guys, Tyler Casey here with Cinefax and today I'm going to be walking you through on how to use our gun effects pack. I'm going to show you guys everything that comes in the full version, uh, how to use everything that comes in it, how to use the muzzle flashes, how to use the transitions, and really just walk you through everything that comes in the pack. So if you don't have the full pack, you can get it here on our website at cinepacks.com. If you want to check out the free version, uh, it should be up shortly, so make sure to head on over to free packs and you can sample out some assets. So once you get it downloaded, you're going to get uh, two zip files like this. I use uh, third party software like 7zip to unzip it. Uh, you can also use WinRAR. If you're on a Mac, you should just be able to double click it. So to unzip, I just uh, right click 7zip and I click extract here or extract files right there. Um, so once I have it unzipped, uh, it comes with bullet holes, muzzle flashes, uh, pistols, and then in the second folder we have ammo, gun effects, or uh, sound effects, M16, and the Uzi. So now what I wanna do is I just wanna bring these into Adobe Premiere. So I'm gonna open up Premiere, drag all three of those folders in, and I'm gonna drag the other three folders in as well. If you're in Final Cut, there's no need to install these. You just import them like regular footage. These aren't a plugin, these are overlay effects. So first off, let's just go through what comes in these assets. So let me organize these by name real quick. So let me walk you guys through all the assets real quick. So in here we have these spinning bullet loops. These are pretty cool. The cool thing about all these effects is if I come here and I turn on the transparency grid, we can see that all these effects are already transparent. So you can just drag these on over your footage and it's just as easy as that. So I'm gonna turn that off because actually I can leave it on. <clears throat> so we have these bullet loops so I can just scale this to frame size if it's a little too big. And the cool thing about it is, let me replay this clip, I can actually loop them. So if it plays, you can continue it moving on longer. Uh, there's only a cut there because of the footage underneath but you can see it continues to loop so you could have that pretty much go on forever i also nested it right click nest um and now i can go ahead and play around with this i can scale it i can do really whatever i want with it you can make your own transitions if you want we also have our we do have transitions that are like pre-made but i mean you can easily do whatever you want with these make your own transitions and Boom, you got a giant bullet going across the screen. So let's see what else is in here. I have these bullet wipes right here. These are pretty cool. These are perfect for titles as well if we put some text underneath or you can transition scenes. And then right here we have shells firing. So these are perfect for like the shootout scenes. You wanna make it look like a shell's ejecting from the chamber after being fired. So I'm gonna kinda walk you guys through on how I would do my gun effects like if I had a shootout scene. So I'm gonna walk you through on some little tips and tricks that I have for that. Uh, these are some of my favorite as well right here are these glass breaks. These are super cool. Um, I see a lot of people use these in music videos but they're not that good. They're really just PNGs. So these are actually animated. If we go frame by frame, we see it just spit glass out on the screen. They're transparent. You can do whatever you want with them. So super cool. Um, and this one's pretty cool as well. So there's a bunch of them in there. Uh, this one's pretty cool. It does like a little, a little shootout. And I mean, let's say you want them all over the place. You can also manipulate the assets. One easy way is to just type in flip do a horizontal flip we can do a vertical flip we can make it look like the screen's getting shot up pretty cool so let's keep going through those so that's pretty much it for the glass um, let's see. we have tons of sound effects in here there's 40 sound effects pistol shots these were all recorded live uh, we have the clocks and then we also have like the handling reloading sounds so we'll definitely use those when we do the shootout scene I'll show you guys those uh, here's the gun asset so we have this m16 this is pretty cool play that through and sorry let me drag that back and the laser comes in and shines uh, we have loops as well so we have this loop we have a darker lighting version so we do have some with like darker more moodier lighting uh, so this one kind of spins around um, and then we also have these gold versions as well I thought these would be kind of cool to drag in I thought these would be kind of cool it kind of has like that Call of Duty uh, gold gun kind of has that Call of Duty gold gun oh, I reversed it I don't know why I did that it would automatically loop just like that so like I said you can do anything you want with those as well 
We also have these cool transitions right here. So we have this comes in and scopes. We also have this one as well. This one has like a little sight on it. Comes in, boom. And then we also have like uh, these wipes as well. So these come down and it transitions. So that's pretty cool. So that's useful to have as well. Here are all the muzzle flashes. We'll get into these in a bit. But basically these, you can put them at the end of a gun when someone's pretending to fire a gun and it'll make it look like a muzzle flash. Pistols are one of my favorites. We have the Colt coming into screen and firing. That's the smoke assets around. Um, we have the profile version. I like the Glock right here. We can do a transition too. Let me open up the footage. Let's transition to like this drone shot maybe. So we want to find right when it fires. Boom. And we can do a little transition right there. So, bah, and we're in a new scene. So you can easily do something like that. Let's see what other objects we have in here. We have the Glock firing as well. We have a chrome and gold Glock, and we have the other Glock loop. Uh, we have the wipes. So, I mean, these are pretty simple to use as well. Let's just overlay these. This is a simple mask. Uh, we have these for most of the weapons. So as it comes up, so we're going to want to draw a mask on the clip beneath. So I'm going to draw this. We're going to come here. And we're going to draw it as it comes up. And we're actually going to invert it. So as we're going to keyframe the path. So at the very bottom, we're going to make it right there. We're going to make it come up. Make sure it's not peaking at all gonna come up and we'll go to the very end of the clip and then pretty much there the other clip should be fully and just like that we have a quick little just like that we have a quick little transition I think we have a little something peeking out the bottom so make sure it's just super far down simple mass transition just so we have another Glock wipe too, where it swipes across the screen like that we would do the same thing um, another cool thing let's say I grab it in this we have the loop you can pretty much add any effect to it so like, let's say you want to add like a glow or an ecto or anything like that. Anything from Sapphire, uh, any of their plugins, you can add those. If you have like a certain theme going on for a video, you can really add whatever you want to give it that look. So there's lots of different plugins that you can add. You can also change the color of these gold ones as well. Uh, that's one reason why I wanted to include these. If you want to like tint the color or change it, we'll just grab on HLS. Um, and you can really pick any color Uzi you want. I mean, if you're going for something stylistic, maybe something 80s, I'm not sure. You can really have some fun with it and change the color. So that's pretty much how you use all these effects. You can get creative with them. Uh, they're really open to use. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my clip of person firing the gun. So I'm going to scale this to frame size. So let's watch the scene real quick and see what we need to do. So we see someone come in, aim, they both aim, he shoots first, he shoots second, he gets shot. So I'm going to grab one of these muzzle flashes up top here. I think these work out pretty good. Um, we have these more fiery looking ones, which I think would work better for like shotguns and stuff like that. That one's in slow motion. Uh, this one has a little bit more fire and smoke to it which is cool if it's a little bit bigger of a gun, but I think these are just small little pistols, so I think we're just gonna be fine with these. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this real quick, so I'm gonna grab on horizontal flip so it's coming from that correct direction. And yeah, you can see the smoke blooms out that way. Make sure the smoke doesn't go into the other scene. We'll cut it, and he fires right there. So what we're gonna do is we're going to motion scale, and we're going to drag that on scale it down a little bit like it's coming out of the front of the gun this one can only be one frame because he clicks up so quickly and we can also let me scale it up just a little bit i feel like it needs to be like maybe it could be a little bigger we'll make a big one let's go ahead into our ammo folder and we can find a shell firing 
So that shell, we need a bigger shell and it needs to be pretty quick. Let's see what this one does. So let's go to effects. We'll flip that one as well. We'll scale it down. And we need to play with the lighting because it's a darker scene. Um, we want it to blend in a little bit. Oh, there we go. And we just want it real small off screen little shell coming out after the firing. So it would probably be around there. It's literally only going to be a few frames. And I feel like the, it would move a little bit faster so we can also speed it up. And let's say we want it to just look a little more blurry. I'm going to add a little bit of directional blur so it's not as clear because things are happening so fast so i'm going to add some blur it's going in the right direction so that helps definitely so let's see that so it has a little bit of motion blur to it cool now what we want to do is we want to check out these sound effects so let's find out the sound effect that's an m16 probably don't that's more distant like it's in the distance so nine millimeter sounds pretty good so let's line that right up so so now let's find him a muzzle flash let's find something let's maybe do one of these first ones this one a little bit bigger let's use the second one right here so let's see where it comes into frame when he shoots so that's right about when he shoots it looks like he used like an airsoft pistol so let's go ahead and drag that right about there and we'll go motion we'll drag that on and let's come over to our ammo as well let's see what kind of shell would look good that's a quick little shell let's try that one we definitely will have to speed it up a little bit so let's see that's not bad right there and the shell can come out right there but let's move the motion a little bit it should probably be right about there and we'll make it a little bit higher going off in the distance and we'll just cut it like right about there real quick. I think it's actually fine if the shell goes this way so we're gonna put it there we're gonna move forward some frames and boom we'll cut it we're gonna play this through so it looks good so what we can lastly add is a little bit of lighting. So I'm going to go ahead and toss an adjustment layer on here just for this one frame that there's the muzzle flash. So there's the muzzle flash. Boom. And we can maybe have it like fade out. I'm going to do that. So this first frame, I'm going to turn up the brightness and let's make it a little orange. Turn up the brightness. Let's go into the color wheels. Let's maybe turn it a little bit. Turn up the exposure. Let's bring up the shadows a little bit. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to draw a mask around everywhere where the lighting would be. So sure, if the gunfire like this, we would probably get some lighting around the gun uh, on this half of his body a little bit. Maybe it would just come around here, get a little bit on this back wall and on that side of the face. What we want to do is we want to feather this out want to expand it a little bit and this is just a quick little frame so boom and it could honestly just and I think we even want to like bring it down just a little bit we want something real subtle uh, we don't want anything too crazy we can feather it a bunch more as well we can expand the mask and we just want to make it look like the gun is lighting up the room for a second we do have a light off screen so that does help it doesn't light up perfectly and we can add the same thing. We just need to readjust the mass. So obviously on this one, it looks like the mass should definitely be around his hand, around his face a little bit, a little bit on the back wall behind him. And we're gonna feather this a lot. So let's see with and without. And that's just a quick second while the gun fires. So let's play that through. Boom. 
so those are in there for you guys as well so those are good if you're doing action scenes and music videos or films and then we have all these cool 3d weapons that are great for music videos titles anything like that so let me know what you guys think about this pack make sure to leave a comment down below and if you don't have the full pack make sure to check out the free tutorial because there's plenty of good stuff in there as well i'm tyler casey with cinepacks thanks for watching i'll catch you guys next time